at you here at Geek League Studios. We get into the story of a young comedian, Jay Hart, my man right here, our special guest of the day. Again, we appreciate you for taking the time out to join us here. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. I, you know, I've been enjoying the whole little segment since I've been sitting here. It's actually my first time on actually, you know, indulging in something of this magnitude. Um, I really give you, I, hey, the only thing I can do is say kudos and God bless, man. This is a great Magnitude, that made us sound huge. Yeah. I got you, it's a T word. I like that. Like that. Like that. <laughs> so I may feel like we on live TV or something. Right. <laughs> Y'all know your vocab, man. Vocab. Yeah. Yeah. Jay, man, we'll, we'll, we'll start out simple and easy, dog. Comedy. Comedy. You know, that's, that's, I'm, I like comedy. Right. I love, I love, I love, I love yeah. comedies. I love the laugh, dog. Uh, I mean, it's hard. Yeah. What was your, yeah, I mean, what, what inspired you to get into this field? Um, I would say simply, hey, my family, man, and uh, life experiences that I've dealt with and just things that I've known that were funny for over time and just nobody put it out because nobody wants to say that underlining thing. Uh, like I said, I have, I have a few skits on Facebook, maybe over like 130 um, right now, and I mean, it's doing good, man. Um, I have various things open as far as like uh, movie castings, uh, things of that nature. I'm in a big play called We Woke. Uh, Y'all can go check that out. The um, pretty much the sponsor of that will be In the Spirit Entertainment. Okay. Um, they're over that play production. But like I said, I've been in man plays, modeling, uh, Easter speech. I've been doing that since I was a kid, dude. So it's it's nothing new. Like as far as you know, people watching me. I'm I'm used to that aspect of it. The aspect I'm trying to get down is the actual um, with the acting part. Um, I'm learning that you have to, it's hard to transition from comedy to acting, I'm just tell you that. Mm -hmm. Cause you're so honed in on, I need to act like this person, but this group of, or this panel or this board or whatever, they want you to be the comedian and not the actor. So it's kind of hard to separate that. I'm learning that. Um, I will be playing Malcolm X in this play for the Black History Month uh, okay. program. Massive role. Man, so I'm getting that down as well. Um, they're teaching me like, you know, different techniques on, you know, just pretty much the character and how to get into that and, you know, to deliver to the crowd to where, you know, cause he was a powerful man. So mm -hmm. you have to take into account when you're doing that type of role, uh, you know, the feedback off the audience is most key when you're doing a play because uh, they're sitting there waiting on, you know, the aura to change and for them, for you to give them that feel like, hey, I'm back in the 1960s. This is what, you know, I feel like I was there. Yeah, so. Hey, uh, I got a question for you, man. Uh, which comedian inspired you the most, you know, as, as much as uh, the jokes or, you know, just different movies they might have played in and, what athlete do you think embodies your, 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 your comedy style? Um, I would have to say as far as the uh, comedian goes, I would say Richard Pryor and Martin Lawrence yeah. are my inspiration. Because I grew up out there. I'm an 80s baby, so I was born in 84. So. Oh, yeah, that's um, Martin for sure. Yeah. Um, I would say an up-to-date comedian, I would say Mike Epps. Yeah, he funny. has you know really shown that you don't have to change and transition into, you know, doing the woman role. Uh, now, I do have a woman character, but that's dealing with my grandmother. Uh, she passed maybe two years ago. Uh, I'm not solely honed in on the wig idea and the, you know, the Tyler Perry. I, I, yeah. no, no, I no, want no, to man. steer away from that, man. Like, even when I did a skit dealing with my grandmother, I got so much... People that was like super mad sending me, you know, inbox saying, hey, nah, man, don't switch to the, no, you too funny. No, you don't have to do that. And, you know, that's just not your, no, you don't have to do that, man. Take the weight out, don't they? Cut that. <laughs> and by that time, it was already at like 200 views. It's like, oh, shit, well, that's too, it's I'm already scared. out there. Right? <laughs> it's too late, yeah. It's, I can, I can cap it. It's already out there. <laughs> Now I haven't actually, like I said, I haven't actually got the pleasure to actually walk out on a platform uh, for the stand-up. Uh, but I, like I said, I don't think I would have a problem because you know I did the party Saturday and it showed me that, like I said, the crowd they kind of feed off of, you know, you know, you kind of know the type of people that you're dealing with once you walk into a venue. Right. 
it's like, okay, we can't talk about this, we can't talk about that. It's already gonna hit me because you know, you got those subjects out there that people don't want to elaborate on. It's like, oh, that's what just comedy is for. Right. You know, comedy is to make light of those and, situations. And you would you'd be surprised. It's like super people like don't have a sense of humor at all. Yeah. Like, seriously. That's crazy. It's like what? But you know what? You'll let Kevin Hart or uh, you know, all these other various artists put your picture beside somebody and talk about you all day long. And you would share it. Yeah. And you're laughing at it. But I guess it's it's you know, when someone is coming up. It's like ah, oh, dude, you know. It's, have a, it's a stardom look, right? Right. Thing, you know. And, and you know, it, it. It's like I say, it's not holding me back from anything. Uh, man, I've been blocked so much. I'm blocked right now on Facebook. I can't. I don't even know why I'm still alive. I don't. I guess I've been unblocked. Hey, uh, be <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> he open. Man, you know, I, like I said, I'm open for working. Man, um, I'm a Dallas native, 33, born and raised here. Um, I got my hands on some of everything, man. Even I had my cousin send me a beat, man. I even tried to tap into rapping, but <laughs> that's not, you know, that's not. I couldn't think of something that would sufficiently sound like, oh, okay, he can rap. Nah, I couldn't get it, man. As my lady, I went upstairs up and I went up in the closet, had my little headphones on. I was like, yeah, I'm finna get this, man. I got it, I got it. <laughs> so look, I put the headphones on and I had the beat playing on the other phone. And it was like, all right, I got it, yo. Yeah. I couldn't catch it, man. It was like, I'm not a rapper. Not I'm a not rapper. a rapper. Hey, so, hey it wouldn't so, happen. So tell me this, Jay. What, what, we'll, we'll take this to the NFL right quick. Okay. What, what, what humorous thing can you take from this past season? Um, it was a lot. So that's what I said. See, comedy is making good of the bad. Light, at least light of the bad. And so, the pain being in the, in the bad. Okay. So I, I, I'm just going to reiterate on the Super Bowl commercial. Um, I, I, I couldn't get into that simply because, um, I mean, Peyton Manning was switching his hair around like he had long hair, blonde hair. Did, did you see Peyton where he got on the ground? And <laughs> it was like, okay, is he wet? <laughs> Do we pull out the, what's going on here? <laughs> and then how he gazed into his eyes and just like, I mean, yeah. just the whole commercial threw me off, man. I was eating my Sunday dinner. And it was like, what am I watching right now? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't what? You, you didn't, you missed it. Oh, oh, no, no, this no, is no. NFL. Which one was it? NFL oh, yeah, commercial. Oh, Odell and Peyton Manning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, and don't you know, tell me. It, <laughs> ah, you might not like it, man. It's a lot. Of, uh, you know, like I said, I've been getting a lot of controversy dealing with that skit alone with that. Yeah. Um, I just was hitting on like how he talks with the shades on, and he's just like super humble and calm. Yeah. I mean, he, you yeah. know, that's my guy. I, I, we're we're gonna win the game, man. I, I would I, like I, to say that the most. I, I, I know game. next game I'm gonna get seven yards. Oh uh, no, I'm doing more. it. Not seven yards. Positive. Yeah. Positive, man. But I'm never gonna say nothing negative. They gone. Hey. I hey, think the most so, comical so. thing was uh, <laughs> Jimmy G getting 137 million dollars. That's the most oh, comical man. thing. Oh man. Prodigy in the bank. Hey. So Jay, who, who, who's, your, who's your favorite player? Uh, I actually like Tom Brady. Favorite team. Okay. Yeah. Always been. Yeah. Uh, well, my I'm, 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 I'm always a Patriots fan. They since, my, since my grandmother put the Dallas Cowboys memorabilia in my room. Oh, yeah. And I burned it up. Oh. Yeah, I did that. I did burn the room up and I tried to play like, you know, I was playing with matches type deal. And it, it really went on fire, dude. Like, yeah, don't yeah, play on fire. Much. Hey, you know the one, the, the old deals um, they used to have. When were you born? Uh, 93. So you close. They had these little, your auntie had these little things look like incense with her on them. It was like hanging in a corner, different colors. You could put them in like a vase. Yeah. But anyway, it had, it was so flammable when I was playing with it, you know, you know how you just flick the lighter. Okay. Oh, fuck. Whole wall. So <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you for a minute, I sat there like, I really don't like the Cowboys. <laughs> She's been trying to push this on me for the longest. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit here for a minute. But then it got out of control and I tried to stop it. It was already on the like the curtain thing that you, you know, you stuff the um, newspaper in to make it look <laughs> done. So, so how did you feel about the Patriots losing the Super Bowl today? Oh, I was so sad, man. I wanted to get it. I, I'm glad I didn't bet anything. Um, 
I, I just wanted to get under my cover, man. You know, boo hoo a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I feel like the Eagles shouldn't have won, but they did. NFL is um, inconsistent, man. I, I, I thought to myself, the game. The game has really changed, man. It's 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 gotten to the point where you can't even watch it without you know them calling some type of personal anything. It's like, dude, all he did was run across the dude, toe it, bump it to the other dude, in in the momentum of. You're How's that a personal file? Yeah, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. What what excites you the most about being in a comedy field? Um, I would say what excites me the most is just the you know like the the atmosphere of the people, man. I'm a people person, dude. Like, I've always worked at the corporate jobs, and you know, I've been on the other side of working the low income jobs, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's it, I'm from both sides, man. It's, if you don't have to work for someone, you know, try to tap into your niche, man. Everybody's on this earth, I feel like, for a reason. Um, now, I don't, I wouldn't say it's, you know, easy for you to tap into, but I mean, it's, it's there, man. It's, it's dormant in your body, um, in your mind, soul. I just feel like, you know, God put you here to rise above what you're dealing with as far as whether it's relationship issues, family. Um, anything you know you want to just keep the steadfast faith that you know one day that you'll be able to realize who you are and what you're here and set out to do that's pretty much what I'm set out to do um, the money part of it just comes with it man um, I just want to put my family on dude and you know rise above the hood and do something good at my city you know J Hart, man, we wish you the best going forward. Like I said, we, we're coming to you guys. We like the funny. We'll be looking out for you. You, you and your skits. Uh, where can they find you on Facebook? Uh, you can find me at John Harper, or you can go to J Hart on Facebook. On Instagram, it's John John the Muse. On um, YouTube, it's also John Harp underscore the Muse. So you can find me at all of those outlets. Um, ah. Man, everywhere, dude. I'm all over. I don't have a Twitter though, so I'm, I'm trying Twitter, to tap. I need to tap into the Twitter. Get into Twitter, man. Well, look, guys. We'll have his links below on this video, so you guys can check him out and keep checking out Spot on Sports. Comment, rate, subscribe, drop us a like, drop him a like. We'll definitely appreciate that. Not just accurate, but we're spot on. We'll see you guys next time.